Should I buy Peck Company Holdings stock and uh, Star Peak Energy stock? So in this video, we'll begin with uh, Peck Company, sorry, Peck Company Holdings Inc. And we have covered this video before, but uh, um, some viewers uh, want us to cover it again. And um, we can see that uh, the most uh, one of the most inter interesting things about uh, Peck Company Holdings is uh, its um, very small float of 5.312 million shares and uh, also its uh, short interest of 8.04%. So in the pre-market at the moment, uh, Peck Company Holdings is probably up close to 10%, but it's not up to 10% in the pre-market, and only 22.3 shares have traded so far. So we can see that uh, also, as at uh, the 8th of uh, January 2021, the last trading session uh, for PEC, it uh, closed, uh, it had a correction. Correction, yes. Uh, is, is it a correction? Or Let's see, it's, it's, yes, it is a correction. So more than a correction because it closed more than 10%. So as at then it was, uh, uh, as at Thursday it was at $16.10 and it closed at $13.71. So you can see that that is easily more than 10%. So it's a correction for a stock. So um, the interesting thing, like I indicated before, is this short um, floaty house, you know, so We'll come back to that and we can see that uh, technically PEC appears to be in a strong bullish trend. It's 200 moving, 200 day moving average or put sloping and the, um, the MACD histogram is above zero. Comparative relative strength analysis shows that the issue is outperforming the S&P 500. So the MACD, sorry, 200 day trend line is upward sloping, no doubt about that. So uh, let's continue with uh, the other parameters. We can see that momentum for PEC is strongly bullish. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is above 80, the level which many analysts call overbought. This means that investors have been actively purchasing shares and driving the price higher. So we can see that um, we, in these two indicators here, we can we probably covered uh, <clears throat> whether we, we, we can see that it's uh, we can see whether it's overbought or not. So it's currently in the overbought territory, territory but it was higher than that before. You know, just slightly, slightly cooling off. And uh, as it concerns the momentum, the best uh, indicator or the best means we can cover that is uh, with price rate of change. So uh, the price, the currently the price rate of change is at uh, 120.001%. So the momentum, the figure for momentum might be higher than that. So, uh, but uh, this, this part of price rate of change has also lost some um, some energy as well. So it has uh, tipped over as well. So. The unbalanced one with the is bullish. The slope of the decator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. The Bollinger Bands are presently wider than usual, okay, indicating that, um, uh, which is as a result of the greater than normal volatility that accompanied the recent price move. So events such as this may precede a pause or reversal in the near term trend. So we can see that. Um, um, uh, uh, Peck Company Holdings is a stock that is, um, has been um, uh, had uh, a lot of influence on uh, short sellers. You know that is it's, that's likely to be the case. You know so, given by the what has happened, what's happened on the seventh, and uh, what happened on the so rather what happened on the eighth, you can see that it closed uh, sharply below. So it, it did. It may not be short sellers. It could it could also it could always be uh, other market participants. Who are trying to take money off the table, so um, uh, but it's you know interesting because uh, I mean uh, we have a combination of this small float and the combi and uh, uh, um, tangible uh, short interest and um, an equity that um, um, market participants or short sellers you know uh, may be you know uh, finding uh, interesting to short so. Um, the volatility might occur often as well, you know. So, but um, um, it will be definitely stock that will continue to be volatile because of the small float. You know, um, small amount of money will move a lot of things. You know, and you can you see it's only currently at uh, seventy-two point eight million dollars. So, 
um, if you if you if you if you see if a market participant puts in um, uh, or rather collectively if market participants put in um, um, let's say twenty million dollars, you know the stock would definitely uh, you know move uh, seriously in in in, in, um, in the upward direction, you know if it's if they are buying it. So um, we can also see that only three percent are held by institutions, means meaning that um, institutions uh, don't. Uh, Always trade um, 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 stocks as often as all the, the regular market participants. So it will be a stock that will be, um, you know, be that has a good chance to be very volatile. You know, so when you combine some of the things I've, I've mentioned, you know, the uh, uh, short interest and um, um, the short uh, float as well. So as it concerns the short interest, when um, it gets uh, when market participants are said as they're doing right now, you know, uh, jump are jumping in after a correction. You know, it will force uh, more and more um, uh, short people who are in short positions to cover them, and as such, you know, drive the price the price higher. So, I wouldn't really say that um, pet company holding stock is a buy. You know, uh, it's it's risky unless you know how to play it. You play it, but. Um, I wouldn't say it's a stock, and it's just a stock to watch and see how things go. If it consolidates, pulls back, then yes, um, you know, we we'll, 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 we'll could always jump in. And I know indeed that it is in the uh, renewable and electrif electrify electrification um, space. So um, in the long run, yes, on one hand, it's a stock to own for the for the for the for the long run, but at the same time as well, it's also a very risky, uh, very volatile stock um, that. Um, um, you know um, that can um, uh, uh, you know um, mask um, the real fundamentals of the company. You know, so I wouldn't say it's a buy. Just observe and watch. If you really have to do so, then you know don't put in a lot of money. You know, just don't put in a lot of money. Don't you know? Don't allocate a lot of money so that um, if things uh, start going bad, if they start declining, if this if, if it starts to correct, you wouldn't um, have to think so much about it. Okay, so um, let's move on to the next. It will be uh, Star Peak Energy. We just hope it's going to uh, come up very soon and render easily as well. Okay, there's a good chance that it's going to do so. It's doing so, yes. So in the pre market, it's also up. Um, okay, it's earlier it was up to 10%, but it's not up to 10%. And so far, um, 96%. Point four thousand uh, shares have uh, traded so far. So and um, it's also another stock that is uh, relentlessly uh, surging. And um, how many sessions now? One, two, three, four. So we have so far four trading sessions of uh, upward movement. So um, let's see what's going on here. So. There isn't a, there isn't a trend analysis for Star Peak Energy because it's just a, a recent um, issue. It, it was it started trading in the uh, in the um, public public space just a few months ago, if not if not even a few weeks ago. So we can only um, digest uh, um, what is here, which is mostly momentum. So momentum for Star Peak is strongly bullish. Okay. Okay, strongly bullish. It's uh, the best indicator of that will be the price of change. It currently, currently stands at 48.5 percent, and uh, it's also in the overbought territory, but not as much as it was uh, uh, a few weeks ago. So um, the unbalanced volume indicator is bullish. The slope of the indicator is positive, and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. Okay, the the, the Bollinger bands are wider than usual, indicating that um, yes, that's some volatility has also occurred. Okay, we don't have any short interest uh, figures on this, and we have that um, it has a market cap of 1.2 billion dollars, and 47.94 million shares are outstanding and are rather on float. So um, we can see also that, as I indicated earlier on, earlier on, it has has had, including today, the 11th of uh, January 2021, it has had uh, four straight days of uh, gains. You know, so easily, you know, if you if you ask me, I would say the stock is not a buy. You know, you know, um, just, I mean, on one hand, you know, it just it's highly volatile. Just observe and watch. And uh, you know, just like um, um, uh, pet company holdings, it's also in the electrification and the 
renewable energy space you know so um, so you know you have to decide have not to have, have to balance this you know do I buy this because you know it's definitely a stock that is going up you know um, do I buy this you know and I would say if you really have to buy it because of of, of its fundamentals it's in you know you know the uh, rationale you know which the, 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 the what is doing the business itself the core of its uh, uh, of its being what it's doing you know which is the renewable stuff and the electric electrification stuff so Yes, you know, I would say, um, yes, you, you have to buy it. But, you know, on the other hand as well, you know, it's rising and rising, you know, and um, I wouldn't also recommend that you do so. So, you know, I would say just give it some time and observe and see and just hold on. You might, uh, you know, pull back, hold, consolidate and um, and uh, correct, you know, for you to uh, jump in, you know. So even if you, uh, I mean, and, 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 and you should, you should, you should buy it for the long run. And um, if you if you can always wait for a ten percent correction before you jump in, you know, that's always absolutely something, you know. So, but if you can't wait for it, then by all means do so. But start with something small, not a lot of money, you know, not not nothing. As I was saying, nothing more than um, hundred dollars, you know. So if you want to make it slightly more, you can, you know, do so. But um, um, going by what's going on now, I wouldn't say that you should buy it while it is uh, really hot. So, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, like, and share. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for watching this video.